history. This is pretty cool if you have never seen this. 45-year-old video. This was in the summer when Elvis Presley performed what ended up obviously being his last ever concert, and it was right here in Indianapolis. This is video when he was getting off the plane mm -hmm. here in Indy. 1977, and that's amazing. By the way, stepping off the plane called the Lisa Marie. Yes, you know, I, Julie, that. it, it, it's, I mean, it's, but it's such great to see that video, his last concert right here in mm -hmm. Indy. Now, fast forward to this morning. We know people are reliving the legacy of Elvis thanks to that new movie that's in theaters right now. Sam, this is pretty cool, and you've got a little uh, guy joining you. We've this got a morning. guest today. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. This okay. video, it was three, or this movie that came out, it was three weeks ago today that it hit theaters nationwide and worldwide too. And get this, it has already cashed in more than 155 million dollars. Now I was one of those tickets, and if you want to see it, it is still playing in theaters across our area this weekend. And the cool part is, as you guys mentioned, here in Indianapolis, we are a part of that story, right? So it was 1977 when Elvis performed that final concert just down the street at the old Market Square Arena in front of 18,000 fans. And now there's a memorial plaque on the grounds at Market in Alabama. And we've heard from some of you who were there for that final show. Sue Cloud says she saw Elvis three times in Indy, including that final show. And she says, guys, it was worth every moment waiting in line that day. And then check this out. Our Scott Swan went to visit David and Danny Morton yesterday. They live down on the south side in every inch of that living room, guys filled with memorabilia. So you can actually check out Scott's video right now on his Facebook page. And then guys, I also got to talk to one of the officials over at the Indiana Historical Bureau. His name is Justin Clark. And I asked him, I said, well, how else is the city hoping to kind of remember his mm -hmm. legacy mm -hmm. so far? And he says that right now they are actually gauging interest to make this official one of those official state historical uh, markers, those big be. signs that you see. Yeah. So they say maybe that's the next step in all mm. of this. And I do want to say this is so cool that we even brought someone out of retirement. Yes, for this. <laughs> those of you who are longtime watchers of this show remember in the 80s and 90s, <laughs> Elvis Dahl was a part of our show just about every day. He's been in residence mm -hmm. in the drawer in my office, <laughs> and he's back today be, to honor Sam and, and her mm -hmm. show. And by the way, I wanted to show you this, too. This is a program from one of Elvis's last concerts that I attended uh, as a teenager with my brand new girlfriend who became my <laughs> wife, and mm -hmm. we saw Elvis at the SIU Arena in Carbondale October 26, 1976, and uh, he looked really bad, mm -hmm. but he mm -hmm. performed really fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, it, within a year of his death. Wow, you just got to feel like a part of history mm -hmm. when you when you know after that happened. After that happened, what a big deal him, yeah. it was. Yeah. Wow.